In an exclusive interview with NBC News, Namwater CEO Abraham Nehemia says the water utility is committed to constructing a cutting-edge water treatment facility in ensuring abundant water supply for the residents of the northern regions, specifically Oshana, Omsati, Oshikote, and Oangwena. Nehemia went on to underline the intricate nature of the canal's restoration work, which involves substantial quantities of concrete and steel. This comprehensive approach is aimed at ensuring the canal's long-lasting durability. But the um, um, northern Namibia areas needs this because this is the water that goes to all the all the four regions um, in in this area, and uh, the demand is, is is quite high. If you look at what uh, what we were pumping um, when this canal was put up um, before independence, and what we are pumping today, so it's really a lot of water that is required. And uh, the um, old canal could no longer be able to uh, supply that water that's required for uh, treatment in Oshakati. This strategic investment holds paramount importance in maintaining a dependable water distribution system across these regions. This is to be done by um, NAM Water uh, technical team. So this is not um, tendered out, we are doing it in-house. Uh, the, the idea is actually really to make sure that we have sufficient water for, for Oshakati treatment plant. Cost-wise, um, this canal, is, as you, you understand, is, is more than 150 kilometers all the way from uh, um, uh, Mahenele border post to, um, to uh, Oshakati. Um, the one that we, 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 we did between Mahenene and uh, um, Olushanja cost um, us about 60 million plus. So once you take that distance, one could um, maybe just calculate and see uh, how much it will cost us all, all the way. Tender advertisements for the construction of the multi-million dollar water treatment plant have been published with the actual work expected to kick off early next year. Ndapandashuya, NBC News, Ogongo.